Good morning, YouTubers. So, on today's little episode of Rolling with Ronaldo, I'm going to do a brief little explanation of why I don't like FedEx and why I think FedEx and FedEx Smart Post is a joke and still don't understand why retailers use them to send their products to their customers. Besides the fact maybe they just want to infuriate their customers with FedEx. So, We'll start on May the 1st when I ordered my product. The product was delivered to FedEx down here in Brazelton, Georgia, where it remained until May the 2nd. On May the 2nd, it left Brazelton, Georgia, and went to Cadiz, Kentucky, where it arrived on May the 2nd. Then sometime in there, on either May the 2nd or May the 3rd, it left Cadiz, Kentucky and went all the way up here to Lincoln, Wisconsin, the town of Lincoln. So it arrives there on May the 3rd. May the 3rd, it leaves Lincoln, Wisconsin and goes to St. Paul, Minnesota, where it arrives on May the 3rd. It remains in St. Paul, Minnesota until May the 4th when it leaves St. Paul for Osseo, Minnesota, which now I will zoom in on you so you can see just how close Osseo is to St. Paul and it's just on the northwest corner of the Twin Cities Loop. So on May the 4th it leaves St. Paul to Os en route to Osseo, Minnesota which by car would probably on average take a half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. So, but it doesn't arrive there until May the 6th. So it arrives in Osseo on May the 6th and then leaves Osseo on May the 7th en route for Egan. Now it takes another full day because it leaves Osseo on the 7th, takes a full day to drive down to Egan and arrive there on May the 8th. Mind you, this is another maybe 45 minute hour long trip, depending on which road you take. So it takes FedEx a full day to get it to Egan. Somewhere between this time, it's transferred to the custody of the United States Postal Service. So then it goes from Egan back up to St. Paul, Minnesota, where it arrives sometime on the 8th as well. Then, on the 9th, which is now a full week later, mind you, after making a, let's emphasize this, four-day journey from St. Paul back to St. Paul, which again confused the living shit out of me why that would happen, but that's FedEx for you. So then, on May the 9th, it finally leaves St. Paul en route to... Northeastern Twin Cities suburbs uh, up here in Chisago County where it will finally be delivered a week and a day later by the US Postal Service and that is why I think FedEx is a joke with their FedEx smart post uh, four days was wasted circling the Twin Cities Metro so if anybody from FedEx happens to watch this please explain to me how your company is still in business with this type of practice. 